us about a little bit about your journey from school into um, you know uni and how you got to where you are now. Yeah, sure. I'm actually from WA originally, and all, all the time I was like wanting to do animations and movies, but I was really the only one doing it. And I found that if I wanted to work in the industry, I couldn't be there. I had to kind of be where the people were. After I finished high school, I actually went moved to Perth to study film school. But there were film courses there, but I went to a, a, a place called Central Institute of Technology, which I think they've changed the name now. But uh, they had like a really good, uh, uh, <laughs> I had a film course there and it was um, where I was able to, I was two, spent two years there, I was able to kind of uh, get practical, you know, hands-on experience as how things run. But uh, the, one of the advice they had was like, oh, it's really great you want to work in the film industry, but it doesn't exist here, so you might as well practice flipping burgers. But that's a quote, but um, we, yeah, but since then I was like, um, like I did two years there. I could have stayed on for a third year, but I'm like, oh look, I'm not going to get anything out of it. When I moved to Melbourne, I studied screenwriting. So I was like, right, I'm looking at this from a storyteller's point of view, because that's where films really all start. This is at RMIT. So I enrolled there because I heard they had a really good comedy writing course there. I was able to be taught under, there's a comedian called Tim Ferguson, who's one of the Doug Anthony All-Stars, and I was lucky enough to be able to get taught by him. But So I realised, I was like, oh, okay, I could move to Melbourne, I can, study something that's along the lines of what I want to do. But there's also RMI TV, which I'd known about because I'd heard about other TV shows where people just talked about, you know, this little production company where uh, we just, just go ahead and make stuff. And it's similar to Channel 31, but I didn't know about Channel 31 because that's Victoria-based. Like, each state has their own community TV. So I just saw it was like there was a better chance for me to actually kind of do what it is I want to do. So I graduated at the end of 2016. And since then I've just been kind of living it up in Melbourne and doing things kind of on my own way. It's kind of a thing when you go to film school where it's just like, right, uh, I want to go to film school. What do you want to be? I want to be a director or a producer or something. But the only way you can be those people is to kind of build up a good network and figure out how you can work with one another and have them kind of believe in your ability to actually do what you want to do. And which is something that I actually, I love to be in that position, but I know there's Kind of a, I've got a long way to go before I get there, so in order to there I should be, I figured I could be able to be able to make something kind of of my own, see how that works and if something doesn't work improve it on the next project and kind of just make, keep on making films. Just keep. It's called Learning With Difficulties. Yes, and how it's, I, I definitely came up with the title first just because I thought it sounded funny and then I didn't really figure out the story um, up until I was like at RMIT, like having to write a, a, a pilot episode for something. And I wasn't meant to have written the same story in both comedy and children's, but I was just like, oh look, I'll just kind of do it, see what comes up with it. But um, Why not? yeah. <laughs>